<laughs> Thank you, David. Nothing more to say. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm the French Consul General. How are you? Um, thank you very much, uh, David, for organizing this uh, wonderful event. I'm just here to introduce um, Ambassador, French Ambassador Pierre Vimont, who came uh, yesterday uh, from Washington. Um, Ambassador Pierre Vimont is, um, I think, has uh, fallen in love with Louisiana because I'm one of the happy few uh, French consuls in the United States who have. Uh, welcome my ambassador uh, at least four times. I stopped counting and that was only in, in a year. So, uh, <laughs> Pierre Vimont has been posted uh, in the United States since uh, 2007, uh, so it's uh, not quite two years yet. Um, Pierre Vimont is graduated from the Ecole Nationale d'Administration in France and holds a PhD in law. Um, he has uh, held his career on European affairs uh, but also uh, in uh, diplomatic postings in London. He was uh, in the 1980s to the United States in an, uh, in an American think tank for a year. And uh, just before being uh, appointed to the United States, he was the head uh, of staff of the French Minister of Foreign Affairs. Well, um, um, Pierre Vimont, I think I uh, was very short on uh, summarizing. Uh, 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 the many things uh, we could say <laughs> on your on your career, and uh, thank you for being here today on this uh, great occasion. Uh, thank you very much, all of you, for for being here today. It's an an impressive crowd, and uh, I must say, a, a beautiful setting for such. Uh, meeting. Thank you, uh, Olivier, and uh, I apologize for coming already four times here, you know, it's, um, <laughs> you have to bear with me because I'm going to come back again. Uh, can be sure. <laughs> so, um, the task of a Consul General here in New Orleans is becoming more complicated uh, by the day. <laughs> Good luck to you. <laughs> we are here, I think, all together to celebrate uh, today's distinction uh, to uh, David Villarubia, and uh, I must say, by looking at all of you, I can detect that uh, David has a lot of friends uh, here in, uh, in this city. I knew that already, I must say, but it's really a, a great pleasure to be here today, David. And let me tell you that you have also a lot of friends in France, uh, among them uh, Henri Loiret, uh, the president of the Louvre, who I think has forged uh, slowly but progressively uh, a great relationship with you. Uh, and I wanted to tell you on his behalf that if he is not here uh, by his presence, he is certainly here by the heart, and uh, you can be sure of that. Mm. David, um, I have prepared something written there, so uh, I am um, just to be sure that I make no mistake. <laughs> I'm going to use it from time to time. The, David, we, we stand in this house, which you have so magnificently restored. Mm a house where one of the most famous uh, French Impressionist artists, uh, Edgar Degas, once lived, as you all know. For many years now, you have shown your complete devotion to the cause of bringing this house, now named Degas' house, back to its original glory and its original form. At the same time, you have strived to revive the spirit of Edgar Degas, whose uh, six-month stay here in New Orleans in this house led to the creation of over 20 works, as you explained to me a, a few minutes ago. One of these works, which is one of his most brilliant, Un Bureau de Coton à la Nouvelle Orléans, the New Orleans Cotton Exchange, now hangs in the City Museum of Pau in southwest France, and is certainly one of his most famous works of all his uh, artistic career. Degas' mother was from New Orleans, so when he visited this great city, two of his brothers were living here, and he met other family members living in this house whom he had never met before. Here he painted a not another notable work, the portrait of his cousin Estelle, which is now in the collection of the New Orleans Museum of Art. At last, New Orleans has got it back, and congratulations. <laughs> Due to your great efforts, David, this house is now listed on the United States National Register of Historical Places, Louisiana Preservation Island Alliance, and the National Trust 
for historic preservation. It has received the highest distinction of the New Orleans Historic Districts Landmarks Commission, and in 2008 was awarded a grant by the Vieille Maison Française through the French Heritage Society. And uh, I've seen the plate in front of this house that recognized these achievements, which are mostly your achievements, David. Because your dedication, absolutely, you can applaud. Because, <laughs> David, your dedication to the relationship between Louisiana and France goes beyond your dedication to promoting our common cultural heritage. I noticed the French flag alongside the house together with the American flag, mm -hmm. and they are here also, just behind us. And I also hope I reveal no secret referring to your career as a former pilot with Delta Airlines. I was told that one of your favorite spots and destination in those days was Paris. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I just hope you didn't hitchhike any airplane from its final destination to bring it back to Paris. But I haven't heard about that. <laughs> Now that you are retired, you became involved in the local chapter of the French-American Chamber of Commerce, whose president, Damien Renard, and he's here, and I welcome him, holds you in the highest esteem and actively, actively supported you being recognized today. You became a board member of the chamber in 2005 and took over the responsibility of being its secretary since January this year. You are always generous with your house that you make available for diverse pur purposes, one of them being precisely the Chamber of Commerce meetings. You made a point of being one of the first to reopen after the hurricanes of 2005 at a time when the electricity was not back everywhere yet. And I think this has to be commended to you. The large attendance to this ceremony gathering all your relatives and friends in a warm and festive atmosphere, I must say, this has been very well organized, speaks more than words for what you have accomplished and the numerous activities you are involved into. It also, I think, gives to all of us a taste of New Orleans spirit, and I thank you for that. David. for your numerous commitments to the art and to culture, for your dedication for the promotion of the bounds between Louisiana and France. The French authority, the Minister of Culture, have decided to bestow upon you the distinction of Chevalier de l'Ordre des Arts et des Lettres, which is, I have to tell you, certainly the most important distinction in the field of arts and culture. So it's really not only an honor, but really a real pleasure for me today to bestow upon you this distinction. And this is what I'm going to do right now, if you allow me to do that without <laughs> trying to hurt you in, at all. 